now uh, here uh, we are going to learn how to draw graph of greatest integer of 2 sin x for all x belongs to 0 to 2 pi so basically with this example we are going to understand how we can plot graph of greatest integer of any function fx right if we if we have graph of y equal to fx then using this graph how how can we draw how can we plot the graph of greatest integer of fx that is if we plot if we put greatest integer sign over any function then how the graph will change how the graph will be affected by this greatest integer sign now see the first step is we draw the graph of fx that is 2 sin x I'm not going to write the steps because they are given in the module I just explain the steps so first step is draw the graph of this right draw graph of 2 sin x so So graph of 2 sin x and you know the sine cycle will vary between 2 and minus 2 and period is 2 pi right so this is 0 this is pi this is 2 pi right now next is after plotting the graph of fx that is 2 sin x that is quantity inside greatest integer we plot horizontal lines and we plot y equal to k lines like this y equal to minus 2 line not visible so I choose different color minus 1 line 0 line y equal to 1 line y equal to 2 lines so basically these la these lines are y equal to k lines where k is integer now plot these lines mark points of intersection between the two between the graph fx and the y equal to k lines these are the points of in intersection now for for these points of intersection we need to find the corresponding values of x for example the value where 2 sin x equals to 1 where 2 sin x see this, this this value is where 2 sin x equals to 1 so sin x equals to half x equals to pi by 6 so this is pi by 6 similarly this is the value where 2 sin x becomes 2 sin x becomes 1 so this is pi by 2 this is 5 pi by 6 pi this is 7 pi by 6 3 pi by 2 7 pi uh, 11 pi by 6 and 2 pi so after finding the corresponding values of x for these points of intersection see we'll go for a final plot of greatest integer now we need to understand this this concept that uh, these are the critical points the values where the function will change its definition because uh, like you know this is the value where 2 sin x becomes an integer equal to 1 equal to 2 equal to again 1 0 so these are those values where 2 sin x equals to an integer this quantity becomes an integer and these are the critical points now these are the critical points where definition change will take place now between two critical points see this for example 0 to pi by 6 2 sin x varies from 0 to 1 right now what we need to do is if you put greatest integer over this part which is 0 to 1 the, the, all these values will become 0 all these values will come down like this all these values will become 0 like this but this point will remain here because at this value 2 sin x equals to 1 if this is 1 and we take greatest integer of 1 it remains same that is 1 so this value is not going to come down because it is an integer and if we take greatest integer it remains same but all the values which are between 0 and 1 will come down so we say map the graph between two horizontal lines 
graph between two horizontal lines on y equal to k line below the graph. So punch graph on this, flip graph on this you can say, push graph on the horizontal line below the graph. Same here. We'll leave out this point. Rest of the graph will come down. Leave out this point, rest of the graph will come down. Like this. So you can see that these steps, horizontal steps, this will go away, do part, only these horizontal steps will remain and this horizontal step is the graph of y equal to k test integer of 2 sin x. So if you just look at the horizontal steps, first step is this, right, and then next step is this, like this. Like this. So this is graph of greatest integer of two sin x. Just to take another example, suppose we have to take graph of y equal to greatest integer of cos pi x. So we draw a graph of cos pi x. Now this is 2, period is 2, so half, 1, 3 by 2. Now we apply the same steps. We draw horizontal line, minus 1, 0 and 1. Mark points of intersection between the horizontal lines and between two horizontal lines map the graph on y equal to k line below. So this is what you are supposed to do. Draw the graph like this very quickly. If you are taking time then there is no use of these steps. So see the red part. Red part is a graph of greatest integer of cos pi x.